In this video, I'm going to talk about some post-production tips for Photoshop for your Twin Motion projects. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In this video, I'm going to talk about some post-production tips in Photoshop for your Twin Motion renderings. Uh, this was inspired on a video from the Twin Motion official channel on YouTube. And um, f uh, for something that they did from a tea house, tea or coffee shop, something like that, that they did uh, um, some post-production tips in the end of the video. And um, and I wrote them down and I was inspired by it and I wanted to try it out because I'm not uh, very good in Photoshop. So I wanted to try it out and uh, see if you guys um, like the effect. So I'm going to try them out. I'm going to have them in the description of this video. And, um, and I'm going to uh, add the rendering side by side in the end of the video. Okay, so we first without any effects, any post-production and with post-production. So basically Basically, you're going to uh, duplicate layer. Uh, for me, the most important thing is really sharpness and um, saturation. Okay, so in the filter, in the camera raw filter, um, you have these amazing tools inside Photoshop. And uh, I think it goes without saying that it's a bit of what it's, you know, you have to be a bit intuitive of what, what you do. Okay, so. Um, but you can start seeing and it depends on your scene as well so the one they had in that particular video i'm talking about i'll let the link in the description is a, it was an interior scene so it will, the light will be a bit different than this okay S but um but i wanted um i wanted to do something uh for the outdoors uh that will uh, mimic what they've done as well okay uh I want just to up a little bit the contrast. For me, it's really important to see the textures. That's what I'm looking for in my renderings. And um, for example, comparing with uh, with Lumion, I don't have to have any post-production work done in Lumion. Okay, that doesn't happen in Twin Motion. Okay, in Twin Motion, you know, uh, if you work, uh, you know just that you need some post-production and because i'm pretty crap at photoshop um i just really know the basics so i'll have to uh, check it out other guys doing it other people doing it and um and see what i can what i can come up with okay um so the vignetting i like as well so i really like the i just check out no grain yeah that's it let's check it out what you think so without with okay so i think that's pretty cool i will add a new layer like they've done in their video they did something with the lens distor distortion but it will is it was great for that particular shot that he was working with but i'm not going to add that because i think it's a bit too much uh, but uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a smart uh, sharpen in here And um, I'm going to put to 60, the opacity. Mm -hmm. OK, you start seeing something. And after you merge these two layers, OK. For me, it's really important. You see how you get out from twin motion. Uh, that's all. It has that, you know, that in Lumion you had an effect that's called bloom. You have this, you know, haze kind of effect. And I, I'm in maybe some images will be great. I, I hate that in my renderings. And that's twin motion has that a little bit, you know, that haze thing, you know. So I like sharpen. I like maybe this is a bit too much. Maybe I'll go a little bit down, maybe in the first layer, um, I'll go a bit down, but I definitely think it's better, okay? So, let me know what you think. I'm gonna add this in the description. Um, 
I'll take the distortion effect thing that they've done. Uh, so basically, um, sharpen saturation are for me and the highlights, of course. Uh, but I'll have I'll save this image and I'll let them in the end of the video. I'm gonna do the same one to this one that has a bit of water effect for you guys to see. You see the haze I'm talking about. You know this light boom bloom thing going on. Um, and I really hate it. It is one of the things that really annoys me in Twin Motion. But uh, if you can, if we can come up with some post-production tips, and I need to improve this as well, um, that definitely sharpens the image and you see the texture of the material. So let me know what you guys think. This is a short one this time. And I'll have in the description what I have did here. Okay? See you guys in the next one.